They called me all kinds of names. They made fun of my big ears and my giant beak nose. And it wasn't so much the saying things that was awful. It was the embarrassing situations they'd put me in, in front of the entire school at, at, at recess. I'd go out, I, I feared recess. I hated recess. I never wanted to go outside because I knew they were going to take the ball away from me and they were going to throw it in my head. Or I knew they were going to come up from behind and punch me. Or I knew they were going to do something. And then it escalated to like, you know, I'd be talking to a girl, maybe that I liked, you know. Um, and one of the young guys would come from behind me and kneel down, you know, you know this old trick. And this guy over here would push me. So I'd fall back and crack my head, but they didn't care, you know. It was funny, and the entire school laughed. And there were times when this particular fella and this other guy, would they, they'd come up from behind me when I wasn't aware. They'd put their arms under my arms, and this fella here would hit me in the gut. Like to take the, knock the air out of me, you know, I'd keel over, and he'd still hold me. They would do that every day. I don't know what would have happened to me if social media existed the way it does now when I was a kid. It would have been devastating every day because it would have been massive. The things they did to me, they would have filmed. They would have plopped online. Suicide is not caused by bullying. It absolutely is, in those instances, a causative factor in the pain someone is experiencing that can be a piece of leading to a suicide. Lack of self-esteem, lack of self-awareness, severe depression, brain pain, all of these things lead to suicide and many other things. But in the situation where a child has been bullied to no end, and where that social media viral horrifying nature of man occurs online, man, you're a kid whose brain hasn't fully developed and you, you think that's the end. You think my life is over as they say, right? You can't view any reality where, oh, I want to be 35 someday and no one's gonna remember this. Or, I'm gonna have a great job one day and be very successful, and who's gonna care? These kids can't see that. All they see is the people watching them online and telling them how useless they are, and worthless, and without value. And so of course they view themselves as worthless hopeless and without value. But I think, especially for the, the people that are going through it, you have to take a step back and realize this is a tiny fraction of your life. And you have to also realize, hey, if you're still here and you're going through all that stuff and you're considering suicide, guess what? You made it this far. You're resilient as hell. You got this. Tomorrow, just be here tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, we gonna be here tomorrow. Just be here tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah, we gotta be here tomorrow.